This is the future. Before we begin, I would just like to remind you guys that I am hosting a 3000 Platinum giveaway and to enter, simply subscribe to this channel so you will be notified if you have won the giveaway and, go to the video I have linked to the video description and answer the question who is your favorite Warframe that you love playing right now. Simply write down your answer in the comment section of the video, along with your important details such as the platform you are playing and of course, your in-game name. If you are playing on PC, then I will directly give your platinum but, if you are playing in other platform, then don't worry as I will send you the money via PayPal so you can buy the platinum. Take note that this is just for a limited time only so hurry and good luck to all of you, for now. Let me share and give more ideas on how you can have some dumb fun with the new Warframe Colorvo. Okay, so I would like to say thank you also for those wonderful people who have commented in my previous video about Colorvo. I have acquired new ideas from you guys, and thank you for helping me out form this video. So basically, the content of the video was the overall usage of Colorvo, on how you can utilize all his abilities, along with solving the main problem of the Warframe which is survivability. The first method I suggest is doing a Hurra's Q-Brow Stork build with the Warframe, with Stork ability from your Hurra's Q-Brow, you can just press your ultimate ability and then cast Collective Curse to melt down enemies in seconds. You can also use his Recompense ability to somehow get some overguard in the process, so if Hurra's Q-Brow fails, you have another layer of defense. This is by far the safest and most chill method of surviving with Colorvo while killing enemies but, not all want to be stealthy. By the way, the same concept can be implemented with Shade Prime, but then again, stealth gameplay for a Warframe like this is boring. Which is why I decided to come up with more ways to play the Warframe. The first thing that really interests me is when someone from the comment section said that if the Sancti Magistar's heavy attack healing will proc with Colorvo's first ability, then it he will become invincible. And so I tried the Incarnate Sancti Magistar and it looks like the heal from doing a heavy attack with Colorvo's first ability actually works in this Warframe. The only problem with this is heavy attack build for my Sancti Magistar sucks and most of the damage came from fast attacks. So basically, the only time I'll use the heavy attack will be when proccing the healing effect of the weapon and most of the time, I'll be relying on the fast attack of the Magistar, plus the critical chance boost which turns the weapon into red crit machine without any crit mods. While the gameplay is fun, it would be very centered, and you are locked into playing the Sancti Magistar just to give Colorvo survivability. Then I tried the Carnus mod set with the Sly Wolf Apilla. The idea is to proc the evasion to the point wherein you will have enough to negate a lot of damage and help you survive with your overguard and health alone, along with the healing that recompense give you after you cast and hit enemies. The idea is good, but in real mission, there's a 50-50 chance to proc the Carnus mod set evasion and status immunity. The thing is, you will need to kill enemies with a heavy attack to proc the effect of the mod set which is good for Culliver because of his first ability. However, you need to kill enemies with a direct heavy attack and not with any damage over time coming from status like bleed or burn. This means that every heavy attack should kill an enemies to proc the effect and this must happen every time since it only lasts for a few seconds. This kind of gameplay is very demanding and instead of enjoying the whole process, it will feel like a chore. By the way, another good suggestion that my community added is giving the sem a try with Colorvo. Since the new Duveri Nakana has this special feature that dish out waves of heat when using heavy attack, it perfectly pairs with the Warframe, allowing a very fun and destructive combo that you can try out even in Steel Path levels. So after a while, I switch my build to being a very tanky Colorvo with the help of the Mecha Set mod. It almost looks like this Warframe is built for the Mecha Set. First of all, he got high armor chance which can be multiplied pretty well with the Mecha Pulse mod. And then, he got high health values, which allows any of your Q-Brow to gain more health through the Link Health mod. Also, when Mecha Pulse procs, your Q-Brow will gain more armor, and when you have Link Armor mod in your Q-Brow, it will gain your base armor and multiply it with the mod. It's kind of insane, and it's safe to say that you have enough survivability to give your Q-Brow and keep it alive for the rest of the mission. Now, this build will allow you to both survive and have tons of fun playing Colorvo with all his abilities. The good thing about this is that you don't feel like you are pushing the issue of surviving, and you just chill since you know that you have a good damage reduction through armor and mecha pulse, and you also have overguard and health regen. Not to mention that you can also add life strike in your build so you can gain another health regen per heavy attack setup. Another thing is that, 
Mecha Mod Set does allow you to nuke when you inflict status such as Bleed and Heat to the marked enemy, spreading that damage to the area within 30 meters if you have all Mecha Mods set. This means that you don't have to worry about survivability, but enjoyed the full attack mode gameplay of Colorvo. However, I want to be honest with you. Armor and damage reduction alone won't be good beyond Steel Path levels. Invisibility from the Hurra's Cubra would be the optimal, or other sources but right now, I'm enjoying this spilled in Steel Path levels. That's the main goal in playing Warframe right, enjoyed the game and farm stuff? Again, these are just suggestions and you can use this video to formulate your Colorvo build. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.